frustrated with Forex, watch this video. Let me tell you, anytime you feel frustrated, you feel like this thing, I'm not getting it. God will always lead you to a video that you'll be able to understand. I believe I'm that voice that God has sent me to you. So I know you're listening and you're wondering, I already know these things, but I don't get it. I'm frustrated. So, uh, and the word frustrated doesn't, is not written like that. Even me, I'm frustrated writing it. Frustrated, Ted, like that. So if you feel frustrated because anything that you touch in the market turns to be negative, this is the video for you. Because what I've come to realize is that you may never attend my physical class or buy my online course that I charge 400. But I'm here to give this information for free. So take it seriously, guys. I'm giving these jams for free. So you better take a notebook and write your keynotes so that you don't forget. Anyway, this video will be here. You can rewind, you can watch. So what really happens is that when you come to the Forex market and you don't know exactly what you're looking for, so majority will open the daily time frame. First of all, understand we have four important time frames. We have a time frame, we call it monthly. It is important. It gives us a direction. We have a time frame, we call it weekly. We have a time frame, we call it daily. And we have four hours. The rest will come in between after you have understood. So if you're a beginner or you have been frustrated by the market, the first question I should ask you, which time frame have you been using? If you have been using five minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours, one minute, maybe that's the reason, five minutes. What that time frame does, it has so much data that by the time you're internalizing everything, the market is so fast, it moves so quickly. So if you had spotted a sell, after two hours, the market starts to buy. If you have spotted a, say, a buy, after a few hours, the market starts to, and you wonder what is really happening. So in this video, I want to show you how you can avoid that. I feel your pain. Imagine the trade that you had entered, thinking the market will buy. Maybe you wanted even to buy something. Maybe the, that money was for rent. Maybe that money was for loan. Maybe that money was all you're saving. I want to take you to back to that moment when you place that trade, hoping, believing that that market will give you some profits so that by the end of the trade, you'll be able to withdraw and do whatever you wanted. But what happened is that you didn't find anything. In fact, you lost that money. So the same pain you went through, if you give up on Forex, it will be for nothing. Why would you lose that money for nothing? And that's why I'm here, guys. I'm here to bring hope. I'm, I'm here to tell you that it's possible. I'm here to give you a simpler way to always check out on the market. So can we first understand that in the Forex market, what we have been taught, we have been taught to check the market going up and looking backwards, what could be having obstacle. Like anytime you open your chart, you are hoping the market will buy because that is the history. That is the history, guys. And I think this is where you are going wrong because when you trade with the history, already there's so much hidden from you. There's so many things are hidden from you. So uh, in this series, I want us to stop trading with the history and try to understand what is really happening. What is the market doing? What is the market telling me? What is the message from the current market? Because if every time you want to trade with the history, you'll be here saying, oh, the market will sell. And then once they give you this, uh, you see this sell momentum candle. Once the sell momentum candle went by someone like me, I love double tops. I would have said, oh, we have a double top. And then you put your sell here. And this is what happens. The minute you come and, 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 and sell, the minute you come and do your sell position, the market buys and hits your take stop loss. And if you didn't have any stop loss, that account is blown. But you see, you used the things that you used in the market. You used a double top, you used bearish hang up, and you're wondering, 
what was happening if maybe we can even measure this this double top and we measure it and you see it is doing exactly what i teach it it has even broken half and and now we are going to the neckline but but let me tell you guys forex is not like this it's not just seeing things that are open in your eyes in fact uh if i have to write a book about forex you trade the unseen. If you trade the scene, you're the liquidity yourself, guys. If I will ever write a book about Forex, we always trade what is not seen. If your eyes can see it clearly, like you can see this double top, everything, very shangal, half breaking. And then now you sell to the neckline and maybe you want how many pips? Uh, not much. You want 75 pips. The market turns against you. And the question is, what really happened, guys? What really happened? Why did this market, after breaking the half, never went up? Because this is how we are trading. And this is what is causing frustration. If there is a video that you will watch and you will even share with other people, and there's, if there is a video that even it can go viral on my channel, it is this video. Why? Because majority of people are going through what i'm trying to say majority of people don't understand why they can analyze very well and then later get frustrated because you're trading the scene in fact i will call this uh video the title of this video is trading the unseen will always give you results Trading the unseen will always give you results. So <clears throat> now this is a double top that has backfired. The question is, why did the market break half and fail to go up? And, and this is what, guys, I want you to understand. When you are analyzing any chart and you can see, let's say you're on a daily and everything is playing out well, just to know you're the liquidity yourself. Because it's like, it is, you know, the way back here in Kenya, there's this joke we say, it's not like a joke. It's something that if you want to, let's say you want to catch a, a chicken and you want to slaughter it, you start throwing some maize or some foodstuff for it to come to approach to your direction. And that's what happens to the market. Anytime you see a very easy setup, you're the liquidity yourself. So once you enter sell, can you imagine even the market never even blinked to sell? So the question is, what was here that we could not see that made the market go up? What is here that, and that's what I'm saying, trading the unseen, what is there? And that's why when someone says, I can't come to your mentorship program, it's so expensive, it's $400. And to me, I'm thinking, you enter in my class, I give you things that it will be mind blowing. In fact, nobody even teaches even up to date on YouTube. I give you those concepts, I give you strategies, I give you so many things. And by the time we are ending those two weeks or by the time you are finishing the course, your eyes cannot, you cannot be the same. You cannot be the same person. And that's why I tell people, I'm very confident with my course. I'm very confident with my strategies such that if I teach you, you cannot. It's like a child. They have never tasted honey. And then you give them honey. They taste, they, they, they taste that honey. There is no way they will see that honey and they assume they don't know about it. So the question is, why did the market buy? On, on daily, there's nothing that is making us to buy. But let's go to four hour and try to see what could have made that market to buy. Trading the unseen, guys. When you trade the unseen, things happen. Trading the unseen. So I want us to start our analyzing from that area so that I can take you step by step. I want to take you step by step and we'll go back to the lesson of today. The lesson of today is where I have marked there. So if we reach there, what we'll do, um, we'll go back. We'll go back to the lesson of today. I just want to show you how trading the unseen is easy. So 
I have said you have to master each and every time frame, more so daily and weekly. Those are your two time frames. Four hour is execution, and four hour is where unseen things are kept. Now, we are rewinding, trying to understand if this was you and you had been given a, a sale opportunity. There is nothing that is telling you, no, this market is not a sale. In fact, everything that you are told to check out on your list first, like the trend. The trend, guys, is a, a downtrend. It is a downtrend. So it is even confirming to your trade. You're, you're even thinking, how good is this trade? It is telling me to sell. This trade is so good. It is giving me a sell opportunity. And it is on a downtrend and it has broken half. And the question is, guys, majority of you, you will trade a sell opportunity because you can see it. But let's understand if at all we went on for hour to see what is there that has been hidden from our eyes. And I go on for hour and on for hour, guess what? We have an activation of a double bottom. So they know patterns work. They already know patterns work. And what they want you to they, what they want you to, to understand is that because patterns work, they just want to make it hard for you to notice which one will work. Anytime you find a double bottom in the market working, don't think all double bottoms work. It is your work, it is your duty to understand which one will work, which one does not work. So in this case, we have a double bottom that we are hoping it will work. Because this is the double bottom, guys, I call OPT. Now imagine it's like I'm giving you free mentorship here that I charge. Anyway, God will repay me. <laughs> if I wait human beings to pay me, I people say, oh, I have learned a lot from you. One day I will look for you. And these people, Okay, all the best. You look for me, but I do this because when God looks at me and the skill he has given me, and this strategy is Holy Spirit is the one who reveals it to me. By the way, I barely listen to YouTube videos that teach for it. Why? I would rather go and pray and fast for three days and ask for God to give me the wisdom. Because for me, I understand a Moses. I have to deliver people and to go to Canaan. And you know, people have different gifts. So if your gift is to learn and make money, fine. My gift is to learn, make money and train. So I still have a, an assignment. So if you have never known what is OPT, is what we call OPT, guys. OPT is when you flip on the higher time frame, you can't see the same double bottom like this double bottom is only on one time frame. That is what we call OPT. So cut CHF head OPT. So let's see. So even if we wanted for this market to, even if we wanted for this market to, to do what? To, to, to sell, there's no way we could have sold. The market had activated. You can see we have an activation of that double, double bottom. So we are waiting for a buy. So as we are waiting for a buy, guys, uh, how do we buy double bottom on four? First of all, we use CRB. We don't just buy because you want to buy. They have to create resistance and then they break and then they, they do all that. So we, we are waiting for CRB to happen so that we can enter buy. And understand, majority are selling. Majority are selling according to daily. There was a double top that broke up. You, you're not selling because you don't trade the scene, you trade the unseen. And that's what gives you rest. And that's what I'm saying. Anytime you trade the unseen, you are the upper hand. Anytime you trade the unseen, trust me, guys. Anytime you trade the unseen, you are the upper hand. Upper hand. Anytime you trade the unseen, you are the upper hand. Anyway. So we wait for the breaking of that. So the market breaks like that. So you have to buy, you are buying up to this area. It's like 13 pips you buy. I'm just showing you how the market goes. And then the market breaks up. You're still buying. Notice when the market had 
on the daily it is uh, very thin and four is not thin. It will not even start, it will not be a stubborn tree. And then you buy again up to where? You buy again up to where? To the neckline. Because that's how the market uh, goes. That is 46 pips. So let's see what happens. So the market goes like that, goes like that. And I'm not saying you are using the stop loss. For me, I use ATR and sometimes I don't use stop loss. You can't stop loss, you use below the low, the first low. So we are trying to see what happened to this market. The market broke our neckline, you can see. So in short, what happened is that the market stayed in this area for a very long time. You can see there was consolidation. And it's because there was war between daily time frames saying sell and for us saying buy. So there's that confusion so that many people are led to put their sell trade. So what is happening is that we want to see, did they complete this double bottom? That is the question, guys. Did they complete that double bottom? So... And that's why when you go to now, this is the half of that double bottom, and this is the finishing. If you go on the daily, you're wondering, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. What is happening? What did the market do? I thought the market was a selling. I thought the market was this. I thought the market was this. And you're left there wondering what to do. But on four hour, these people, they are following a pattern. There's a double bottom. The double bottom has broken half, retraced, retraced, but went to neckline and it's on the way to, to, the, to the take profit three, which is guaranteed. Take profit four is not guaranteed, guys. You see, to go to TP4 is not guaranteed. So in short, TP1 is here. Half is TP1. And TP1, how do we go to TP1? if we use CRB. So TP1 is CRB, which we used here. To go to TP2, we need half to break BOS. So TP2, we need, to, to go to TP2, we need BOS. TP2, we need BOS. And we can see clearly BOS. So I will highlight, where I'm highlighting. So here is where the breaking happened. Can you see? The break, the, the breaking happened there. And then the half broke here. The half broke there. And then the neckline broke there. Can you see now we are going step by step? So for TP3, what do you need to, what do you need? Uh, TP3, we use, TP3, we use BW. And that's what I'm saying. BW is taught in the lesson, in the class, in the course. Um, or TP3. TP4 is not guaranteed. So TP4, if you're waiting for TP4, my friend, it is not guaranteed. That market went down. So TP4 is never guaranteed. So we are going back to where I have marked that. Line. So we are going back to there. Now, that's where I had marked that line. The question is, whoever traded the unseen pattern, the unseen setup, made money. The one who traded the seen pattern never made any money. The seen pattern is this. And now they come again. So I have taught you, this was to tell you how people lose it, why you're frustrated. I hope I have answered. This is why, this is what making you are frustrated. Not understanding, we don't trade the sea, we trade the ants. Now again, we have we have another pattern here, another one. We have another one pattern. So if you pay attention on this double top, this one is seen, everyone can see it. This one is visible, very visible. I can see this double top and my neckline is here. Like I understand this double top, oh, it will do will do that. And this double top, this is my half. And according to my chart, the market has broken 
has given me a very strange gap. Like there's so much entries. According to this area, we had sellers are in control. So you're hoping the market will come here and you put a sale order. So you're hoping for 63 pips. And let me tell you, you are okay because the structure is fine. But do you know what they do? So short position, you come, you enter your sell position and you are holding up to them. So you are okay for the first day. The market seems, um, um, let's see, last day. So first day, uh, you seem you're okay. And this time you're saying, I will hold this trade because that's what I tell people. If you have a good a good uh, strategy, why don't you hold? So first day you have 25 pips, you're holding the market and you're waiting for the market to hit your take profit. But the market goes back up and now you're wondering what is happening. And that's how the trade is. That's the current market. The question is, why did this market buy? And it is buying strongly because from the level that you are waiting, the market bought 77 pips. The question is, why did this market buy? And it was supposed to sell. And that's why, guys, I'm telling you, whenever you treat the unseen, it's what makes you money. So what happened is that we were being told to sell. So you can see, the market told us to sell because of double board. Can see double top. But here we have we have a support created. So I'm selling yes, but I'm monitoring what will happen to that support, and then the market breaks that support. Anytime the market breaks anything, remember what happened here. Why did they change? They changed because they had broken half. Anytime the trade breaks something, that's when they take advantage. So all along, even, even if you may not think it is half, even this support, there was like a small support. Anytime support is broken, that is when they utilize the unseen. In market cannot, they cannot utilize the unseen if there is no support. If there is no support break, what is the use of supporting the using the unseen? So when it when it comes to use the unseen here, they have to break anything. So rule number one, if you're trading the scene and then all of a sudden there's a support area getting broken and you are seeing it like this, let me tell you, just go on lower time frame, you will find something. So I went on four hour and I was thinking, Yes, they have broken, but I can't see anything they have activated here. I can't see anything they have activated here. Can you see anything? What can make this market go up? And that's why I said, now here is where I will utilize two hours. Because if I can't see it on four hours, maybe I can see it on two hours. I go on two hours, guys, and guess what? I find the unseen around here. So whoever will get this video, you know, it is a lot of information, a lot of hidden jams. So you go on two hours and finally you find something that will take that market up. Notice everyone else is ignorant. Four hour, if you check on four hour, there is nothing to make that market in fact to go up. If you check on the daily time frame. Daily traders, they are waiting for the market to come to the half, but they have already given you uh, something to tell you, not now. Yes, we'll go, but not today. So you go to two hours and again, you apply what, what I have taught you, CRB. Now this one, when you trade the unseen, trade with all the confidence. When we trade the unseen, we have confidence. So that's what I'm saying. This is this will be your best video that you have ever watched this year because it is giving you hands up. It will break that frustration. And at least after watching this, you'll be able to apply what I'm saying. So you already know that this market at least half is guaranteed. 
The rest may not, because remember we were selling, but half is guaranteed. Okay, so that's what we have. That's what we have. So we are waiting for CRB. So the market has activated and given us a resistance to watch. Imagine being given that resistance at that early stage like that. So you have a resistance there and we are waiting for the market to break. So you wait for the market to break. You wait for the market to break. It doesn't break. You wait for the market to break. You adjust, adjust your resistance area. So um, you wait for the market to break and eventually you have a breaking. Imagine when you're buying, someone else is selling because you, you are, you are trading the unseen. That's what I will call trading the unseen. So when you trade the unseen, and that's why, I think that's why the Bible says, call these things not be as though as they are. <laughs> because on daily, there's no double bottom. On four, no double bottom. Two hours, double bottom. And see what the market did. The market hit the take profit. Anyway, I don't want to continue. This is a trade that, don't forget, they can still continue with the, with this double top, they can still decide to continue with this double top because this double top is OPT. They can decide to continue with it or they can break through and create a cup and handle. So anytime you see a double top, don't be so quick. Oh, it has to hit half. What if they create a cup and handle? What will you do? What if they create a cup and handle? So any double top has, has a way of buying or selling. And that's why we use everything in our hands. So cut CHF in the current market. Maybe they want to create a cup and handle. Who knows? Maybe they want to finish that double, the double bottom. Who knows? So that is it. If you go to two hours and you play, we see how the market is, where the market is at this moment. That's where the market is. It's still buying. You can see the market is still buying. But this is not a video to tell you if it is to enter or not to enter. I'm just giving you a hands up. I want you to monitor. What do you think will happen to this trade? Will the market continue buying with the two hour double bottom or will it sell with, will the market sell with the daily double bottom? What do you think will happen here? What do you think will happen guys? That is a question you should ask yourself. Um, Will the market continue to sell? Um, will the market sell? Will the market? What will happen? So all the best. I don't want this video to be too long. I hope you have understood or you have got something. This is uh, trading the answer uh, using lower time frame. All the best, guys. Love you so much. God bless you. Make sure you subscribe.